I learned about context engineering for you. So let me now save you the hours you have to spend scrolling through X and Reddit, trying to understand what is context engineering. You've probably heard the terms prompt engineering and context engineering thrown around a lot. One is the golden child we all started with, and the other is the new, more powerful, and frankly, more important approach for building real AI applications. Today, we're going to break down the confusion and save you hours of scrolling through forums. The outline for today's video is simple. We'll define what context engineering is, why it came about, and why it's so relevant for building AI agents. We'll clearly explain the key differences between context engineering and prompt engineering. We'll dive into how to do context engineering with a deep look at the essential components of an AI agent. Finally, we'll walk through a concrete example of a context engineered prompt to make it all click. All right, let's first define our terms. Context engineering is designing and building dynamic systems that give a large language model, LLM, the right information in the right format at the right time to accomplish a task. In other words, you're not just giving it a single instruction, you're meticulously crafting the entire input area, the context window, to set the model up for success. Prompt engineering, on the other hand, is all about what you say to the model at a specific moment. It's focused on crafting one-shot instructions and is useful for creative or one-off tasks. So, is context engineering the new prompt engineering? Yes, but that doesn't mean prompt engineering is dead. If you're just chatting with a chatbot about what running shoes to buy, that's still prompt engineering. You're having a back and forth conversation, refining your query based on the answers you get. That's still completely relevant. Context engineering only becomes relevant when you're building sophisticated AI applications, like AI agents. Think of it like this, LLM is the CPU and the context window is the RAM. In a simple chat, you're just feeding it a few bits of data. But for a complex application, you need to load a whole operating system, all the necessary programs, and the specific files it needs to do its job. The key differences are in the scale and scope. Prompt engineering is about getting the first good output. When it fails, you might get a weird response. Context engineering is about ensuring the thousand output is just as good as the first. When it fails, the entire system can behave unpredictably. Prompt engineering is a subset of context engineering. It's one piece of a much larger, more structured puzzle. You're not just crafting what you say, you're building the entire mental world the model operates in, including its memory, tools, and instructions. Now let's dive deeper into what context engineering looks like when building an AI agent. First, a quick definition. An AI agent is a software system that uses an AI to pursue goals and complete tasks on behalf of users. A customer service agent, a sales assistant, or a coding agent are all examples. Regardless of the type, every AI agent needs six essential building blocks. And the analogy I like to make is that an AI agent is like a burger. You can have different kinds of buns or patties, but a burger needs all its components. Model, the core. This is your LLM, whether it's a GPT model, Claude, Gemini, or a smaller open source model. It's the brain of your agent. Tools. These allow the agent to interact with external systems. A personal assistant agent needs a tool to access your Google Calendar to book appointments, for instance. Knowledge and memory. Agents need a way to store and retrieve information. A therapy agent needs memory to remember previous conversations. And a legal agent needs access to a specific knowledge base of cases. Audio and speech. These components enable a more natural and easier interaction with the agent. Guardrails. These are safety mechanisms to ensure the agent behaves appropriately. You probably don't want your customer service agent swearing at a user. Orchestration. These are the systems that allow you to deploy, monitor, and improve your agent over time. You don't just launch it and hope for the best. Now, imagine you have all these components, but you need an instruction manual to assemble them. You need to know that the bun goes on either side, the vegetables in the middle, and so on. That is where the context engineer comes in. The context engineered prompt is the instruction manual for the AI agent, detailing how all these pieces fit together. It tells the agent how to use its tools, how to access memory, what's in its knowledge base, and when to use its speech functionality. 
Getting this prompt right is crucial. As we've already talked about, context engineering goes hand in hand with building AI applications. And when it comes to building AI apps that are meant to be more than just proof of concepts or demos, pure vibe coding just isn't enough. For that, you need a tool built for real engineering work, including debugging, writing tests, refactoring, and navigating complex systems. Let's now look at a full example of a context engineered prompt for an AI agent. This is a system prompt for an AI research assistant. It's a simple example, but it perfectly illustrates the concept. The general structure of the system prompt has those six components we discussed. Role, we define the agent's identity. You're an AI research assistant focused on identifying and summarizing recent trends in AI from multiple source types. Task, this section details the agent's step-by-step -step instructions. We use XML tags to make the information structured and clear. Given a research query, delimited by user query, do the following. Step one, extract up to 10 diverse high priority subtasks. Step two, prioritize by engagement and authority. Step three, generate a JSON output for each subtask in the format below. Step four, calculate the correct start date and end date. Step five, summarize all findings into a single concise trend summary. Output. We specify the exact output format, in this case, a JSON format with specific variables for each subtask. We also define the final summary, limiting it to 300 words and instructing it to use bullet points or short paragraphs. Constraints. We tell the model what to focus on and what to ignore. Focus on capturing the main points succinctly. Ignore fluff, background information, and commentary. Do not include your own analysis or opinion. Capabilities and reminders. We explicitly tell the agent what tools and knowledge bases it has access to and provide crucial reminders. You have access to the web search tool to find and retrieve recent news articles. You must be deeply aware of the current date to ensure the relevance of news, summarizing only information published within the past 10 days. This example, while simple, shows how complex context engineering can get. A single prompt needs to contain all the instructions, tools, and constraints for the agent to function correctly without constant back and forth conversation. This is the essence of building a reliable, scalable AI application. Before ending this video, I want to share two additional resources if you want to dive deeper into context engineering. Cognition blog post. This article shares two fundamental principles for multi-agent frameworks. Always share context between your agents and be aware that actions carry implicit decisions. Langchain article. This resource showcases a great framework that breaks down common context engineering strategies. Writing context. How to let the LLM write down information to save and use later. Selecting context. How to pull information from external sources. Compressing context. Techniques to compact a large amount of information. Isolating context how to split context between different environments. That is everything for today. I hope this video helped clarify the difference between context engineering and prompt engineering and showed you why one is so vital for building real-world AI applications. If you found this breakdown valuable, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you in the next one.